Press the bell icon so that you don't miss any updates from Workspace. I hear from a lot of people that filmmakers like Anurag Kashyap complain a lot. I do not understand how that's a bad thing. How can you fight such a deeply entrenched system like Bollywood without pointing the problems in it? Take his career for example. Every time that he has failed, he did not just keep going on in that same direction to fight a losing battle, but he chose to find a new way to innovate with his cinema and also his approach to business. His movies until now have had three distinct faces. हमारी जिंदगी का एक के मकसद बदला He came into the industry with a lot of fight in him and his idealism intact which could not find a place in Bollywood of that time. His movie Pants did not even get through the censor board. Chupre varna kya karega? Marega. But he did not stop. He went on to make truly controversial and politically inflammatory films like Black Friday and Gulal. Both these films took an extremely long time to get to the theaters and even when they did it was way too late. He then went on to make a film like No Smoking which is an ambitious and surrealistically cautionary tale about the lack of free will in a country like ours. At last he got a mainstream release for his film but with the movie being so ahead of its time it turned out to be a disaster at the box office. Here we see a clear shift in the way he made films. He started to mo- use more music in his films like Devdi. But never losing his unique perspective on things. He still was as idealistic and subversive with his films, but he chose to make them more palatable. Not being someone to repeat himself, he went after a new target. the international market with his extremely low budget film that girl in the yellow boots he experimented in new ways of selling his film in the european and american markets this gave him great results by making it one of the highest syndicated indian films in the international tv market shut up shut up not a deep pass with this new market open for him he was ready to make his sprawling epic of a revenge drama gangs of asipur This was his most ambitious film till date with a run time of close to 6 hours which also turned out to be his biggest hit. This I believe is due to the culmination of all the lessons he had learned before put into one film. His love for music, his understanding of the film festival circuit, his love for experimenting with new actors and a grand vision that only he could have brought to the film. Jiya hai bihar ke la Pehchane hume Ramadeer Vidhayak hai. Are jiya tu hazar saal Then began his journey towards a wall which was disguised as a door Bombay Velvet which turned out to be his biggest failure which also taught him his biggest lesson This was going to be the first part of the Bombay trilogy which was going to tell the story of Bombay over the last century He planned it to a T with a huge cast a huge budget and everything a filmmaker could ask for but the only problem was This ambition also carried over to the narrative undermining its potential. People did not care for it. The contradiction was built into the construction of the film. The problem was when you want such a large audience to come to the theaters, they consist of various different demographics of the country. So you need someone who can paint with broader strokes. Big shot banna hai na tumhe. Main banunga. This was his most expensive mistake. but it did not stop him he took one of the scripts from his bombay trilogy raman raghav and reverse engineered it to make it work with a budget of 4 crores and just like that he was back now that he had learned his lesson and always the shrewd innovator that he is he saw a new market for his films the internet the changes that he made were not to his work in itself but where he exhibited them he chose the internet for his more experimental work like lust stories and sacred games he exhibited them on netflix while his more mainstream fares took the form of feature films like mukkabaz and manmarsia ek dusre ke andar ghus jana bas you make me sick i would like to conclude by saying that anurag kashyap is a fighter but never a sore loser
प्यार करती हूँ उनसे हो जाएगा प्यार